And Andrew, let me begin with you and the the one word of defense, line of defense that we heard from Donald Trump outside the courtroom, the only thing that actually pertains to the case in any way. And that's him saying, look, uh, none of the none of these loans uh, involved any problems for the banks. All the loans were paid back. Uh, and so uh, even if there was some inaccuracy or disagreement about the value of the assets that are listed in obtaining the loans, what matters is the loans are all paid back. How does that work as a line of defense? Um, well, legally, it's irrelevant. Uh, that is just not a defense to the six counts that are under trial. Remember, one count has already been found uh, guilty by, by the judge. Um, the the issue here, the two potential defenses are intent. In other words, was there an intent on the part of each of the defendants, including Donald Trump, to mislead? Um, and there seems to be, based on what the judge has already said, there's going to be significant evidence of that. Um, and the other is, did the banks or insurance companies rely on the false statements, meaning did they care about it or did they make their own determinations based on their own analyses? Again, I think on that, it's important to remember um, that it is necessary, and the judges said that, that you have to find it. But if you asked a bank officer, would it make a difference to you if the person asking for a loan is an inveterate liar? and has committed fraud in the course of their business. It is hard to imagine that a, an executive from a major financial institution is going to say, no, it does not matter. Um, that, that sort of um, subjective uh, view of the person who's asking for millions and millions of dollars is going to be something that is important to the bank. Um, it is also just remember what the person says is going to be relevant to not only the size of the loan that you might make, but also the rate that you charge the person. So whether you ultimately pay it back, that's not your call. Um, the issue is whether the bank would be willing to give you the loan for the size and at what rate. Um, it, there, it just is not a defense. And it's also one where, remember, this is tried to the judge, not to a jury. So the judge is not in any way, shape or form going to be buying off on something that is just not a legal defense.